What's up guys, welcome to Saw Good Media. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a platform called Storyblocks, which is an online internet um, archive of an incredible amount of B-roll that you can add to your videos. So let's get into it. So whether you're editing on iMovie or Final Cut Pro, Storyblocks is a great way to help you tell your story while you're creating content. Maybe you want to create an interesting introduction, you're trying to sort of visually tell something that you can't go and shoot yourself with a camera. Storyblocks is the go-to resource for video as well as audio. Um, and under my plan, I believe I pay about 350 bucks a month for this, or not a month, a year for this. Um, and we'll put a link below so you can check it out. But um, if you go across the top here, Storyblocks has video, audio, images, and a creator beta section. We'll click on video, and then we'll just search literally anything we want. Um, let's say skateboard. So I want to create a skateboarding video intro. All of these videos, you just hover over it, it'll preview it. And you can literally download any of these and use them in your videos once you have access to Storyblocks. So it's a really powerful tool. All this stuff is just right at the click of a button. You can download it and add it to your project. So let's say I really, really like this bike video. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna give me some more information on the video um, to download it. So what we want is H.264. Um, it's an HD movie. For me, I just choose um, the smaller one because it's HD, uh, 15 megabytes. When you click download, it's going to download it to your downloads folder and also pop up here. So we're just going to close out of it. We could watch it full screen if we want. This is the 11 second video I just downloaded. You know, maybe I want this with some music. I want to sort of talk a little bit more about it while it's happening. Um, so cool. That checks out. I'm going to close out. It's saved into my downloads folder. Now I'm going to go into iMovie. You could also go into Final Cut Pro, but click on iMovie, open up your project, and then it says drag and drop. Once you've gone into a project, I'm under, you know, if I'm in the project screen, um, I'm already in a project, but you would just open up a new project and then we'll just drag and drop from our downloads this clip into our timeline. And it's that simple. It's right in here. Uh, let's say I want to add some music. You know, I can find something in my movie that I really like and then just pop that in here. B, uh, let's see here. I think command B is cut. Yep, command B, you gotta hover over whatever you're trying to cut and press command B, and then I'll just delete that. And now I've got my intro with some music. Now let's say I wanted to add some more, um, more footage, right? We just go back to Storyblock, so we'll go back and let's search something else. Let's say we want plane. So we want a plane taking off. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Maybe we want one of, it's already in the sky. Find this, we'll click download. From here, if you're a little tip, if you're going through and downloading a lot of these, you just don't want to download. I mean, you can do this. You want to download 4k, but it's just going to slow down the editing workflow. For me, I like to bring clips in and out really quickly. Um, and this way, if we choose HD MP4 or HD.move, I think MP4 is actually the one that you, I would always recommend downloading just if you're trying to edit quickly. That's what I use. And then it's 18 megabytes versus 134 megabytes. So it's going to download a lot faster to your downloads folder. And then when you open it up and bring it into your uh, project, it's literally just almost instantaneously downloaded um, versus having to wait a long time to do the higher quality. But it depends on your internet speeds, depends on what you're trying to do. Um, for me, I like working quickly and that's just seemed to work. It's HD. It's still good enough quality for YouTube and everything. So, and everybody's on their mobile devices these days anyway. So, um, yeah, powerful tool. So here's the video side of things. And then if you go into audio, you can download literally, you know, you want an introduction. We could say class, just like classical ton of different songs. It tells me the length, two minutes and 13 seconds, a minute 47 click on it, test it out. And I don't think you guys are gonna be able to hear it based on how I'm recording my, I'm just recording through my headphones today. So I don't think you're gonna be able to hear the music come through, but I can search all music, loops, sound effects. I could uh, choose moods. I could choose genre. 
I could choose my instrument and um, one thing that I really like is being able to search by duration because then I could say, you know, I'm really looking for something that's five seconds long, 30 seconds long, and then it's going to, you know, reduce my search and filter it down to what more of what I'm looking for. You could also do sound effects, you know, if we did like a plane taking off because we had that shot, then maybe we would grab this sound effect. And if you want to download anything from the audio side of things, you just click on download and you can do MP3 or wave. I use MP3 just because it's faster, but wave is going to be higher quality. Um, I don't think you're really going to be able to hear the difference in these types of headphones, but um, that's basically how I use Storyblocks to build my projects. Let's say we wanted to bring this uh, sound effect in. We would just click download down MP3, click allow. It downloads into our downloads folder, and then we'll just go to iMovie. And from there, we can literally just, I think it just opened up in my iTunes. Go to iMovie, open up our downloads, and here it is. Here's our sound effect, and we could just drag it into our project like that. And now we've got a jet taking off while we listen to music of a guy biking. So there you go. That's how to make magic. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you saw value in it. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more of it, leave a comment of what you'd like to learn next. And um, be sure to subscribe and like this channel if you thought that it was cool. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll talk to you.